You're watching Alaska's Weather Source. And welcome back. We'll start you off in Kasilov, where we had another view of those high clouds streaming on in from the late morning on in through the afternoon hours. Yes, some blue sky out there, appreciable sunny breaks, but those clouds have thickened and lowered as we continue to see moisture streaming in from a very weak disturbance that continues to exist across the north central Gulf of Alaska. You can see those clouds lowering closer toward the top of Mount Susitna or Sleeping Lady. Temperatures, again, Mother Nature teasing us. Once again, 49 degrees, just shy of 50 degrees, which we still have not officially hit in Anchorage. Now the fifth latest um, that we've seen that happen. Normal is 53. We started off chilly this morning at 31. Can you believe we've been as warm as 65 degrees? There are those scattered showers continuing to work their way over the mountains. We are still seeing additional moisture working in behind it. So we'll stay cloudy with a few scattered showers on in through the rest of the evening and then diminishing as we lose the sun and the heating during the overnight hours. Clouds continue to stream in across southeast as well with just a few scattered showers that are occurring but not being picked up across the radar view around the region. Those two will come to an end overnight and especially in the southern channels during the morning hours. So everybody's seeing a healthy mix of sun and clouds for Saturday. Scattered showers continue across portions of the peninsula southwest all the way across the lower Kuskokwim and lower Yukon valleys and across Norton Sound and on up close to the Nome area as well. 56 for a daytime high in Fairbanks. It's been warm there the past couple of days, 55 in Fort Yukon and 50 in Northway. Still holding on to mid to upper 20s across the Arctic coast, but for Ukiavik, those temperatures were five degrees above normal. Everybody else seeing temperatures well below normal, especially across the West Coast and on into Southwest. We're anywhere from 10 to as much as 12 degrees below where we should be for this time of the year. So that very chilly April continues to bleed on into this first week of May and on into the first weekend as well. No change in sight. Big ridge of high pressure across the central U.S. and on into north central Canada. Really warm temperatures there. That has to drive a cold air somewhere, so it's coming south and, and has been doing so across uh, the great 907. Another big area of low pressure in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere that's indicative of some strong energy that will continue to again bring another big storm system in our direction into south central as we head on in through the early part of next week. In the meantime, it'll be sunshine to start with scattered, cloud, scattered clouds and showers during the afternoon hours for both Saturday and on into Sunday morning as well. Into southeast, as I mentioned, clouds and sunshine with a few lingering showers across the southern channels. Temperatures area-wide generally into the low to mid-50s, the exception being there in Yakutat with a high of 48. 50 for Fairbanks tomorrow with somewhat snow in the morning, more scattered showers, rain showers in the afternoon, and then more of a mix of precipitation as we head into the early part of the week. Still watching that tripod standing firm across the Tanana River. 26 in Ukiavik tomorrow, a few showers and scattered flurries. We'll see upper 20s to lower 30s all the way across the West Coast. A little bit warmer inland, 36 in St. Paul, 38 in Cold Bay. Uh, areas of some snow showers or even some light snow and temperatures ranging from the mid 40s in Kodiak into the mid to upper 40s across much of the Kenai, mid 40s for Valdez, 51 in Gulcana tomorrow. Watch out for some gusty winds all the way from Palmer through Prince William Sound, maybe even into Wasilla as we start off in the 30s, rise up into the low 50s there, upper 40s for Anchorage with some wind gusts around 30 miles an hour, 48 on Sunday again, and into the low 50s with a few showers Monday and Tuesday. Once we get the sunshine, temperatures approaching the mid-50s by this time next week. All right. like the sound of that. Thanks, Joe. Yep.